Somebody's grandma probably did it already. Maybe. You guys know uh, Potato Socks? That's another fun one. That one's harmless. There, This is a very popular one. People believe that potatoes can cure like anything. So what they do is... It didn't start on TikTok. This predates TikTok. But what it would be is they'd tell you to peel the skin off of a potato and then put it on the soles of your feet and then put socks on and then go to bed. And when you wake up in the morning, all of the toxins will have flushed into the potato. It's a real thing that they... Hold on. It's not a real thing. But it's a real belief people have. I'm surprised you guys don't know this one. This is this is actually a big one. Um, yeah. They, they basically preach it as like a cure-all kind of thing. This one's been around for a while. Isn't there something like that for onions too? I don't know. I only know the potato one. It's probably just a placebo effect thing. Brother, it's it's not. <laughs> it's not even that. It's literally just nothing. The potato fucking oxidizes and gets wet from the moisture in your sock. <laughs> so it gets all yucky looking. It's like the most simple thing ever. But they're like, it's all... The potato's all fucked up looking. So many toxins in my body. So they just keep putting potatoes on their feet. They also carry a potato around in their pocket to help with arthritis. I don't know that one. Can't say I've seen that one. I just know the potato on your feet thing. Oh, that's right. I forgot about those foot patches. Was that the name of the company? Kenoki? Yeah, they used to do this exact same thing as a product. So someone saw the potato shit popping off and did that for foot pads. So what happened is they preach these foot pads as like a detoxifying thing. Wear these foot pads at night, take them off in the morning, and you'll see all of the toxins have left your body onto the pad and the pad's all gross looking. And basically all that happens is exactly what happens to the fucking potato. It, it, it's nothing. It's nothing. It's like actually nothing. But it's super smart because people are dumb enough where they see like, Ew, this is yucky. It came from my body. It, I'm, I'm improved health-wise now. Things are very sagacious. The entire detox industry seems to be that. Yeah, that is like the majority of the de detox industry. You can say anything's detoxifying and you get away with the easiest scams of all time. Thanks, you resub, Joe. You're starting to see through it. You're peeking behind the curtain, brother. Don't go too deep. Thanks, you, Prime Henry. No, I haven't seen it yet, Staley. I saw it got posted, though. Thanks, you resub chronic. 
Do you ever think there's people that follow all these and think they're smarter for it? Yes, go on Twitter. Go go anywhere on the internet. I read a story the other day. I don't remember if it was potatoes. I'm going to pull it up real quick. I saw it on Reddit like two weeks ago or something. There was a kid who got sick, like a very young kid who got sick. And he asked his mom asked the Facebook group if she should take him to the doctor. And the Facebook group said, no, do this holistic treatment instead. The kid died. I don't think it was potatoes, though, but it was something equally stupid. Let me see. Let me see if I can find it. It's like two weeks ago. Thanks for the resub work. It actually might have been potatoes, but now I might just be having a false memory. What subreddit was it? Oh, here, this is a classic. This was 10 days ago. There was a couple that was charged after allegedly feeding their baby meth. And if I remember correctly, reading the story, their excuse was they thought it was cocaine. Great, great parents, great family. Fucking tragic. Where was this? Where was this one? Am I on the wrong subreddit? It wasn't that old. Is it Prime Melon? Oh, sorry. I just mixed up two different things. The feeding baby meth couple was not the one that thought it was cocaine. It was this one. Florida baby dies after teen mom adds fentanyl to the bottle, thinking it was cocaine. So she she thought the she she made an honest mistake giving the baby fentanyl instead of what she, er, giving the baby fentanyl when she meant to give it cocaine. Just unfortunate mix up. Where is the Facebook group one? Was it was it older than two weeks? Thanks to the Prime Visible and the Resub Cat. Jesus, I guess it might have been. You're about the woman in Alabama that saw a toddler walking on the hide w highway and then disappeared for a day or two? What? No, I don't know what you're referring to with that. Where, no, where is this story? I really didn't think it was that old. Now I really want to find it. Just give me a second. I'll I'll find it eventually. <clears throat> Is the reset bodacious? No, it was the parents. I just can't remember what it was. I it might have it really might have been potatoes in order to cure th that's what, exactly what it was hold on now i can type in the specifics the kid caught the it was a very young infant and got the flu and the facebook the mom went to facebook to ask if she should take him to the doctor to get tamiflu to help and the facebook group said no and recommended doing the potato method instead and the kid died that's what it was that's a hundred percent what it was um
Yes, that's what it was. Found it with that. On Facebook, uh, the Facebook group urged the mom not to give her son Tamiflu, and he died. And I believe they recommended the potato thing here. Hold on. Let me open a new window. Okay. On a recent post that came from the mother of a four-year-old Colorado boy who died from the flu this week, she consulted the group members while noting that she had declined to fill a prescription written by a doctor. The child had not been diagnosed yet, but he was running a fever, had a seizure, the mother wrote, and added that two of her four children had been diagnosed with the flu and the doctor had prescribed the antiviral Tamiflu for everyone in the household. The doc prescribed Tamiflu. I did not pick it up. Tamiflu. Uh... Oh, Jesus. They even set up a fundraising page even though they're responsible for the death of their kid. It's so fucking shameless. Post highlights how Facebook groups dedicated to the... Uh, wh wh where was... I, I think it was the potato, right? Isn't that what they told them to do? None of the 45 comments on the mother's Facebook post suggested medical attention. The child was eventually hospitalized and died four days later, according to a GoFundMe started on his behalf by his family. The mother also wrote that the natural cures she was treating all four of her children with, including peppermint oil, vitamin C, and lavender, were not working and asked the group for more advice. The advice that came in the comments included breast milk, thyme, and elderberry. Was it not potatoes? I must I must have really got that mixed up. I thought they met, recommended the potatoes. I can't believe peppermint oil, vitamin C, lavender, breast milk, thyme, and elderberry weren't doing the trick, though. What the fuck? She must have bought, like, generic brand, not the premium medicinal breast milk and thyme brand. I don't know how she's not being held responsible. This should at the very least be like a manslaughter charge. Fucking shame. Being stupid should be criminal to this extent. Oh, true, she might have used non-organic elderberry, thyme, and, um, lavender. You're right. That's what went wrong. That fool. Thanks, there some Isaac, Ted, Bodacious, and the Bits, Shaq, Derpius, and Josh, and Shaq. I haven't looked into that one, Derpius, but I did see that earlier. But if the kid died with Tamiflu, it's just a whatever moment. I don't think that would have happened with Tamiflu. From what I recall, Tamiflu is actually like extremely effective. But if that did happen, he would have had a much better fighting chance as opposed to getting pumped full of peppermint oil, vitamin C, lavender, breast milk, thyme, and elderberry. Things that give sub sweet and resub wizard and Gutier. I'll have to check it out. I didn't know he posted a video about it. Thanks to Resub Cougar. No, it doesn't seem like she got charged with anything. But I always do think a level of stupidity like this should be a crime. I mean, a, a child's dead from it. And it's not like she's going to learn anything from it. She even set up a fucking GoFundMe. 
Next time one of her kids gets sick, it's going to be the exact same song and dance, but hopefully the kid gets to survive this time. I see tier one faded. Should count as negligent homicide. Maybe, yeah. I mean, it should be something. Should absolutely be something. Yeah, I'll definitely go back to vaudeville when they do like some kind of AI update. Because right now it is unbeatable. <laughs> so I'll, I'll wait. 